Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at Tails, which is a privacy oriented uh, Linux distro, live distro, which runs from CD or a USB drive. And uh, what's really special about this distro is that it forces all outgoing and incoming traffic to use Tor. So um, in case you don't know, Tor is basically a, a network that uh, anonymizes all your uh, traffic so it effectively cannot be uh, backtraced to you. But um, explaining how Tor works in detail and how Tails works in detail uh, from a technical perspective would be a little bit too much for this video. So I'll uh, put a link down in the description. Be sure to check that out if you're interested how it actually uh, works on the technical side. So um, Tails is uh, based on Debian 6 and uh, it comes with the GNOME 2 desktop and uh, pretty much some standard applications that you would expect. Of course, we have a browser, uh, Pigeon Messenger for IRC, uh, ICQ and all that stuff. We have OpenOffice, we have some stuff for editing audio and video and uh, everything else is pretty much standard. But now let's look at uh, the, the heart of this distro, which is of course the browser that is set to use Tor by default. So uh, let's just pop that up. And uh, let's head to showmyip.com. And now this is not my real IP. This is a uh, IP from a Tor exit node and I can even change this Tor exit node by clicking here and then go to new identity. So we'll uh, give the browser a restart. And again, I will go to showmyip.com. And you see, I now have, again, another IP. So just to prove that this whole uh, Tor stack, Tor networking stack is working. And um, as I said, all traffic is forced through Tor. So not only the web browser, but also, for example, uh, if you use this email client, or the instant messaging or uh, you know whatever program you use it will all be forth through Tor so um, this is probably a distro um, either if you're completely paranoid and you're uh, planning some like Edward Snowden style uh, releases or something then this distro is for you uh, other than that I guess it's a, it's a neat thing to have laying around um, definitely not something you want to use for every day. Uh, of course, it's, it's uh, got a very limited software selection. And um, of course, going through the whole Tor network has a lot of disadvantages. One of them being uh, that everything is really, really slow. So that's Tails, uh, a privacy-oriented live distro. Now, one more feature that Tails has is uh, what they call the uh, Windows Camouflage Mode. So uh, just let me give this CD a reboot. Let this VM start. So uh, when you boot up Tails, you'll basically be given the option to uh, boot into the normal mode, which runs on GNOME 2, as we just seen, or go into this Windows Camouflage Mode. And this is basically a Windows XP uh, theme. So we'll just select that right now. Just uh, click here on more options. Uh, you can also set the custom root password here, which I'll just do for now, whatever. And then here, just tick uh, activate Microsoft Windows XP camouflage mode. Click on login. And now instead of the GNOME desktop, the default desktop, it will load this Windows XP style theme which uh, really they put a lot of work into this because it really does look like uh, your standard everyday Windows XP uh, from the first look. They even uh, use the Internet Explorer icon for Ice Weasel. So uh, pretty neat stuff. Um, yeah, be sure to uh, check out my channel for other distro reviews. Uh, especially desktop distros, or if you're just interested in Linux, open source, and free software in general, check out my channel, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Tails in the comments. Thank you for watching.